Well, in Washington, the president also claiming that he is being targeted, blaming certain media outlets who he says are making it tougher for him to do his job. In an interview with The New Yorker magazine, and this is new, they just released this part today, he says, quote, the issue has been the inability of my message to penetrate the Republican base so that they feel persuaded that I am not the caricature that you see on Fox News or Rush Limbaugh. Charles Krauthammer is a Fox News contributor and author of the book Things That Matter, which has been number one in the New York Times bestseller list for 10 weeks. And we've heard this refrain before. Earlier this week, we heard him blame sinking poll numbers in part on race. And now we find out that he's blaming the gridlock in Washington on Fox News and Rush Limbaugh. But at least he's not blaming it on climate change or George W. Bush. Look, it's rather unseemly if you are the commander-in-chief, the leader of the free world, and the most powerful man on Earth who could reduce pieces of the planet to a cinder on his command to get so whiny. You know, when you pull the camera back and you look at the media landscape, on one side you've got those elements in the media that are sympathetic or even who worship at his feet. You've got ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, CNN, of course, MSNBC. You've got Hollywood that's sympathetic. You've got the, the television uh, entertainment side. I mean, you've got the major newspapers, the Times, the Washington Post. I mean, you could go, it's what Lenin would call the commanding heights of the culture, are all on one side, all of them. And what do you have on the other side? Fox News and talk radio. And you've got a president of the United States complaining that that explains the failures of his administration. He talks about how, uh, you know, they are the responsible for gridlock because the Republicans don't want to uh, answer to their hometown constituents who may watch Fox and so on. And there's no accountability in this comment or this, you know, what he identifies as the quote problem, Charles, for his own tone that he has said in Washington. Uh, and his own failure to meet with Republicans and sort of extend the arm, something for which he's been criticized, even by moderate Republicans like Olympia Snow. But it goes way beyond that. This is the best example you can find of Obama's political and ideological self-righteousness. He truly believes that the way he sees the world, as he says it in this little snippet of the interview, is pragmatic, it's rational. All he wants to do is help the folks. And of course, anybody who's on the other side, anybody who sees, say, the biggest stimulus in American history or the, the takeover of a sixth of the U.S. economy with a scheme that is completely irrational and collapsing around him, anybody who's, who says that this is not working can only be either acting against the national interest or being suspicious of him without any reason. He simply can't accept the fact, or at least in public he doesn't accept the fact, that one can actually have a view that contradicts his, that is in good faith, that is patriotic, and that also seeks the good of the country. Mm -hmm. So if you think as he does, self-righteously, that there's no way to oppose him and be honestly patriotic and sympathetic to the American people, then of course you have to attribute all these evil motives to the other side who are preventing the people from receiving the message. And I think it's a myopia that's Rather, it's unbecoming, and in, in fact, it often becomes repulsive. It's a refusal to give respect to the other side. To your point, uh, he goes on from there to say, look, I'm somebody who's interested in solving problems and, and is pretty practical, and that actually, I think, a lot of the things we've put in place worked better than people might think. I mean, once again, it's sort of, if people could only understand how, how great everything is, then they would be right. on my side. i got to run, Charles. Great to have you here. Pleasure.